equal positive charges are separated by a distance 2a. So here we have two equal positive charges, right, which are separated by distance 2a. Right. The distance of a point charge from the center of the line joining two charges on the equatorial line at which a force experienced by a test charge Q0 becomes maximum. So, uh, if this is the line joining two charges, then this is the perpendicular bisector. And at this point, we have placed charge Q0 at distance Y. Okay. Now, the force exerted by this first charge on this charge on test charge is given by equation K Q Q0. And let us assume this distance is r so divide by r square and the same force is exerted by this charge also so let us call the force exerted by this charge on uh, this test charge is f if i assume here angle theta it's my choice i can also assume here right but i am assuming angle theta here then the force exerted on this charge is f then this f has two component one is f cos theta right which is along the line joining two charges and another is f sin theta which is perpendicular to the line joining two charges similarly the force exerted by this charge q towards right this this charge is in this direction okay and let us call the force f because the force will be equal now again this force has two component again i can assume here angle theta these two angles will be same so if this is angle if this is angle theta then again it has component f cos theta and f sin theta so f cos theta and f cos theta cancel each other but this f sin theta add and the net force acting become 2 f sin theta so 2 f is k q q naught by r square now sin theta is equals to opposite so here opposite is y and hypo is this so it is y by r so our net force become 2 k q q naught y by r q now this can be further written as now r is equals to see if, if if this is r right this is y and this is a then by using pythagoras theorem r become under root y square plus a square and this can be written as y square plus a square raised to 1 by 2 but if i cube this then r cube becomes this one so y square plus a square because here it is r cube so r y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 now for force to be maximum with respect to distance we will differentiate and we can write dy df by dy right because we need we need to find the maximum value of f with respect to y that's why we differentiate with respect to y so therefore df by dy should be equals to 0 okay so we are differentiating the net force so whenever we differentiate we will take all the constant out so 2 is a constant k q q not all the constant out so we can only differentiate d by dy y then y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 okay so i have used uh, so here we are right this step we are doing now let us assume i am differentiating two terms let us assume this is y1 and this is y2 and both are variable right then we can use a very simple differentiation rule right if i have this y1 here our y1 is y right that is a numerator and y2 is y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 which is our denominator so when we differentiate this kind of question when numerator and denominator both are variable we can use this identity so in the first case the numerator that is the y2 the denominator the y2 as it is we will differentiate our y1 right minus we will keep our y1 that is differentiation by parts okay we will keep y1 as it is and then we will differentiate this y2 and divided by y2 square so the same thing i have done here we are keeping y2 means this denominator as it is so y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 we are differentiating y1 our y1 is y right so dy by dy is 1 so here it is 1 then we will keep our y1 that is y as it is and we will differentiate this denominator so it is y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 if we differentiate this 3 by 2 will come down right so here it is 3 by 2 then y square plus a square 3 by 2 minus 1 right so 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 so here it is 3 by 2 y square plus a square raised to 1 by 2 so this we have differentiate differentiated power now we will differentiate the term inside the bracket so inside the bracket we have y square plus a square on differentiating this y square becomes 2y but a is a constant so its differentiation is 0 so here it is 2y and the whole should be equated to 
the zero sim and the denominator right should be squared so here y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 if you square this right then 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we are remaining with y square plus a square whole cube and this we will go on right side and becomes zero so with what we are remaining here y square plus a square right here we are remaining with y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 is equals to this 2 and 2 will get cancelled right this y and y become y square so y square and here y square plus a square raised to 1 by 2 this you can bring this side so this will become y square plus a square i am changing pen color so you can uh, uh, identify what i am writing here okay so laser pen right okay so here uh, here it is uh, on the LHS side here right what we have y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 right and that is equals to here we have this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so y square into y square plus a square raised to 1 by 2 this term I am bringing here so this will become y square plus a square raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 right so if you solve this then it is 3 by 2 3 minus 1 by 2 it is 2 by 2 so it is 1 right this will become 1 so here y square plus a square raised to 1 and that is equals to y square right so this uh, uh, here we are right and here 3 is also there so 3 we need to consider so here it is y square plus a square is equals to 3 y square again if you make y as a subject right bring this here so this become 2 y square is equals to a square we want y so y is equals to a square by uh, 2 under root right so y is equals to a by root 2 so if you compare with the question here a by root x so here x becomes 2 